Welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm Annabelle and I post here every Wednesday or I try to. Sometimes it's Thursdays to be honest. But yeah, I'm just like kind of sharing my life in DC and Amsterdam and kind of all around with you guys. So yeah, right now I'm in DC and if you saw last week's video, I kind of had like a reset. Oh, we just arrived back from like a lot of traveling. I just came back from Amsterdam as well to DC. So I've been like settling in here again, which has just been very nice. It's really nice to be home. It's a bit of a mess in the kitchen sorry but yeah this vlog i just wanted to intro it i don't talk that much in this video so if you enjoy that kind of stuff with just like nice you know aesthetically pleasing footage and nice loungy music then this is the video for you no but basically i'm doing like a lot of cooking in this video i am going to the gym a lot we spent a really nice weekend in the city so we went to like museums did some shopping did some more eating uh, it's a lot of food i think here and yeah i did a lot of reading as well and i went to we went to barnes and nobles we went to michael's so you're gonna see all of that uh in this video i went to my Michael's to get, I don't think I explained that in the video, but I went to Michael's to go get sketchbooks for my project that I cannot really talk about and that I'm kind of working on in backstage, <laughs> but it involves a lot of sketching and I'm not very good at sketching. <laughs> so I'm just like trying to like improve that skill a bit more. That's what's going on. And then in Barnes and Nobles, I don't think I bought anything in the end, but you'll see. But this is my favorite store, like especially my sister's favorite store, to be honest. I also really like, we both really like like the small bookstores. And again, if this is the first time watching me, I'm very into reading. I've always been very into reading, but recently I've kind of rediscovered my love for reading. And then especially for Sarah J Maas and like just the genre of romance or like fantasy romance. Like I love a good romance book as well. I love a good thriller. Fantasy See Romans right now, it's just been hitting. <laughs> and I just finished, so I'm doing I'm filming this intro like after the week. So you will see that in the book or in this video, I'm like reading this book, the second book of Crescent City. <laughs> And I finished it. Okay, please, like, whoever, like, finished this book has read the last line or the last chapter of this book, which is when you're woke. When you go, like, crazy because you're so shocked. Please talk to me. Please hit me up on Instagram DM or comment down here below. I want to talk to you. <laughs> I want to talk to people who finished this book. Like, I'm obviously not going to give any spoilers, but it's, like, a major cliffhanger. You read the last chapter and you want to read the next book. And as you know, or if you like her, Sarah J Maas, you'll know that her last book or like her third book of Crescent City came out like a few weeks ago. So I just ordered that or like as soon as I finished like the last sentence of this book, I ordered Crescent City 3. So that, I think it's arriving today actually. So I am going to read that as well. In the next vlog, however, I think it's more likely that you'll see me reading this. I spoke about that a little bit in the last vlog as well. But this is the last book of Magnolia Parks, her universe within this series of like Magnolia and Daisy by Jessa Hastings. Amazing. If you guys know, I, I saw a video of someone reading this like with her like real live reactions and she cried so much because this, there is a certain thing that happens in the previous book of Magnolia and it's heartbreaking. So I'm like, I need to sit down for this and be like ready to cry, if you know what I mean. Right now, now I'm doing something else, which is I'm actually rereading the Aquatar series, but I'm kind of like just listening to it because I was like, I don't have the physical copies here in DC. And I kind of, I've never tried like listening to books before, like audiobooks. So it's like, why not try that? I just finished Court of Thorns and Roses and now I'm gonna read or listen to Mist and Fury. But if you guys, if you've read the Aquatar series, like Sarah J Maas, like Court of thorns and roses like that series that i just spoke about you'll know that it's very spicy there's a lot of sex scenes <laughs> there's a lot of very graphic scenes so it feels really weird to like listen to it and like the second book so the court of mist and fury is even more steamy so just whenever i'm like walking on the street and i'm like i have my headphones in i'm just like my face is just like <laughs> because it's very, you know, they describe everything and this is a version with like special effects. So it's like, 
everything. But yeah, just wanted to share that. Enjoy this video. I hope you like it. Uh, if you do, of course, like, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I love you guys. And enjoy. <laughs> So I just filmed a little unboxing on my TikTok and Instagram, but I just wanted to show you guys as well. So there's quite a story behind this because packages... Okay, so the story is I didn't want this package to be delivered at my door just because the delivery guys here, they kind of tend to just leave it in front of your door and kind of just that's it. There's nothing there. There's no message. There's no picture. You don't know it was delivered. And even though I might like be home, packages get like stolen in front of her front door like all the time. So I was like, with this package, I don't really want to risk that. It's not crazy expensive or anything. It's just like, it's been sold out, both of these products. And I knew that if it was lost, I was not going to be able to get it again till like April. These are not first world problems, by the way. But anyways, it's here. So the package was kind of left at a post office. The post office, I went there two days ago. They said they couldn't find it. I went back the next day, they couldn't find it. I went back today. They still said they couldn't find it. So they sent me to like this corporate post office, like another location. So I went there and they were like, it's not here. And I was like, can you please just check like once more because it has to be somewhere. And they checked again and it was there. Um, so excited. I'll show you what's inside. I already unboxed it in the video, so it's like already put together here. But first products. <laughs> it's the road phone case, which by the way is like super duper thick. Second product is the road espresso lip balm, like peptide lip balm. And how cute. And you just kind of wear it like this, so you kind of slide it in. I feel like there's so many jokes, sexual jokes to make here, but let's not. So this is my new phone case. Which the only issue is that the phone case I'm filming this with um, right now has the sticky pad that I showed you in the last video. So like the little sticker that goes on the back of my phone case so I can stick my phone everywhere. You're Right now you guys are stuck to my window. And with this I cannot put the sticker. But I think I might just switch off between both phone cases, which is very extra. But because how cute is this? Also, just to be honest, like for the aesthetics of taking mirror selfies, like it's a vibe. I really miss my nails right now, my long, beautiful nails, because that would make it even more of a vibe. But it's very cute. Also, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at me. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> super happy with this. And it's just, it's way more like smooshy or like puffy, like soft than I thought it would be, which is really nice. And this one, so the Nespresso, that's what's on my lips right now. I'm gonna come closer. It's less dark than I thought. I feel like if I add a few more layers, maybe it gets a bit darker as well. Okay. I feel like though, if you pair this with, which I don't have actually, with like a nude lip liner, it could be very, very cute. So, wanted to share that with you guys because I'm very happy. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gym now, which I was gonna do like two hours ago, but I went on this whole hunt with getting this package. And, which also came with this really cute picture of Haley. She's so stunning. And but yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. Actually, no, I might just get a coffee first or drink a coffee first, make one here at home, and then go to the gym and then work a little bit more after. But just wanted to check in. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit, maybe at the gym.
I got coffee and salted caramel. I'm a hat girly now. Santi does this thing to the head where he does the Latino squeeze. So you can barely see on your left and right. <laughs> but it looks cool. It's better than like the flat cap, I guess. Zara with the super cute boxer thing. Uh, top is America Today. Cardigan is Cezanne. Little scarf is Monkey. Coat is Cos. Bag is Jacquemus. Hat is my boyfriend's. I don't know. Fit something. And my shoes are Adidas. And then these socks are H&M. And then the fit here it makes this look really wide so i think this is a no i picked it in like three colors as well so i'm gonna be very pissed and these look too much like pajamas so i'm not gonna do it yay no money spent <laughs>
know I'm very sneaky. I filmed my intro and outro like right behind each other at the very end of this video because I'm wearing the same outfit as the first clip in this video. <laughs> but if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Um, and yeah, I'll see you. I'll keep this. I'll keep this short and sweet. I'll see you guys next week in another video. I love you. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment down below anything. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.